Pretties. Today's video, um, I just recently found out that Jesse James Beads, uh, they have some little Walmart packs. They have some little packs at Walmart. And so I picked up a couple of packs. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you which beads, what kind of beads are in here. These are really nice little packets of beads. Um, and then we're also going to make a couple of pair of earrings. I have them set out on the sides with some of the beads that came in the mix. Um, so let me just go ahead and say that my Facebook group is Pirate Pretties Jewelry Gemstones Beads and Findings. If you're looking for any kind of beads, gemstones, cabochons, findings, um, go ahead and join the group. From time to time, I'll be go ahead and I'll be posting some de-stash um, merchandise and doing some sales, and hopefully, eventually, get some albums posted up there for you as the group grows and continue to bring. Um, gemstones and findings for you um so let me go ahead and move that out the way and we will start with the um beads i'm gonna ahead, go ahead and dump them out i found these little treasures at walmart and they are by jesse james beads and they're called designed by me and they were by the jewelry section and, you know, the crafting section in Walmart. And I think they were like five, a little over five dollars, five fifty for the little packet. But it comes with um, 14 pieces. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That's way more than 14 pieces. I don't know why it says 14 pieces on here, but there's way more than 14 pieces in here. But um, this is the bead mix. And then um, this was the black set that I bought and I did not use any um, beads out of this mix yet to make any earrings but I'll bring that in closer so you can see some of the mix some of the beads this is like a little melon bead let me see if I can try to show you this um, a little set of these and they almost look like melon beads they have like a ribbing it's probably very hard to see that I don't know if you can see that um, they have those and then they have these little gray flowers little acrylic flowers really cute and the hole runs through them on the side right there and they had these silver ones and inside the silver they have like a little crystal a little crystal diamond on the inside just fun little pieces these little components these are like big crackled glass beads um, I think these are all acrylic plastic beads, but again, they look really nice. These will look like those, the silver mirror ball kind of, these are like a rondelle shape though. Um, and look at the faceting, look at the shininess, uh, sparkle off of those beads. Really cool. I thought these were a really neat shape, diamond faceted black beads. These almost look like a hematite bead, a faux hematite in the, in the uh, rectangle shape. You got two of those. You did get one little tassel, one little black tassel. So if you want to do an earring with those, you know, you might have to pick up a couple of sets if you wanted to uh, make earrings with the tassels, you would. But wouldn't this be cute? Just the little flower, the little um, rose, and the little tassel hanging down. That would be a really cute earring. Let's see if I can put it on my hand and show you. Like the rose and the tassel be a cute little earring so those were in there um let's see let's put that back over there with the other little rose so you got two of those you got two of these which are like little bumpy looks like little bumpy round beads almost looks like a um a blackberry <laughs> uh let's see you did get two of these black almost like a tahitian looking colored pearl so you did get two of those so there's a lot of match sets. You did get two of these. Now these are really cute and they have, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it has black stars in the little globe. I'm trying to see if I can get it to where you can see that. But there's little black stars inside that little crystal globe. And you did get two of those. That'd make a fun little pair of earrings. Um, you got two of these. And these are shiny little black beads. Again, almost like a squashed kind of rondelle shape bead. You got two of those. There was four of these silver spacer beads. These are real lightweight. They are ribbed around the bead. So you got four of those. Then you got four of these. Kind of like a twisted. Oh, these are really pretty. They sparkle really good. Um, they're faceted on the side. It's a little bit of an odd shape. It's not really round. It's not a rondelle. Different, unique. 
you got four of those little beads, and then you got two of these little black kind of nugget style beads. I got two of those. So the only one that you have one piece is the tassel, which is kind of odd. I don't know why they didn't give you a second tassel, but that's okay. Because you could make it into a, a pendant necklace. If you wanted to do that, you can make put the tassel, put like one of these beads, maybe one of the crystals up here would be really pretty, and make it a pendant. So there's a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of options. You have a lot of beads. You have a lot of matching beads. You can make a ton of earrings out of this set. Very, very nice. For, I definitely see a lot of projects for the five, five fifty or whatever it was uh, at Walmart. It was, des it was less than six bucks. So with all those matching sets, you can make quite a few earrings with that. Now, I did get the blue set. I'm a blue girl. My favorite color is blue. I love blue. Um, and I did make two earrings out of this set already. So this is not all of the beads. They also have these blue beads and these. And I'm going to make the video and show you how to make this earring here with the beads in the box. This is like a satiny blue, really dark cobalt blue bead. Super, super pretty. I'm trying to see if you can see that. And so I have the stuff in there to make that one. And then I made this one using a blue crystal and an elongated um, blue bead that was in the mix. And it's got some little speckles on it. And then the, I did add um, some bead caps from my stash, um, a head pin, ear wire, and I think that was it. Let's see. The little bead caps, the head pin, and the ear wire. Yes, for that one. And for this one as well, I just added some bead caps. Um, these little beads came in the box. And so everything else was there. Just the head pin, the bead caps, and the ear wire. So these are the other little beads that came in this blue pack. They have two of these really fancy silver beads. These are like an oval, kind of like an egg-shaped bead. Those are really pretty. Those came in a pair. These are like the black ones, but in the blue. Those really shiny rondelle shaped beads. Super pretty in the blue. They have the dark navy blue pearls, like they had those Tahitian pearls in the black set. This is the navy blue pearl. Super pretty. They have a set of those. Um, now in this one, for some reason, they just gave me, I guess like the tassel. This is just a one, a one bead and it has the little cobalt blue crystals inside that little globe. So there was not two of these in my packet. There was only one, but that's okay. We can use that for a necklace. Then again, like they had the gray crackle, they had the blue crackle beads in this one. Those are really pretty too, like those. They had a, um, some larger crystals than the ones I used in my earring. They had two of the smaller ones and two of the larger ones. I used the kind of medium sized one for the earrings that I have. These are like a gray, these are like a steel gray crystal and they're faceted rondelles. Super pretty, there's two of those. There's two of these silver flowers and in the middle of the flower they have the little crystal beads in the middle. And there's two of those. And then this was a one piece focal bead. They only gave us one. But look at the colors and look at the shine on that. And they have, it's like it has flashes of purple and it's faceted. Super pretty bead. And that one, let me see if I can measure that one to see how big it is. Be a nice little focal on a um, pendant. Let's see, that one is about 18 millimeters. So that bead is 18 millimeters right there. You can kind of see the different colors it picks up and it's very sparkly, very pretty. Nice little focal bead. Oh, my camera says low battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause the video and come back to uh, make the earrings. Hold on just a second. Okay, so I picked up these beads right here and this was um, the first earring that I made I'm going to go ahead and go by the content of the whole stuff. So what we needed was we needed a head pen, and I have a long head pen. And it's just got a little, um, little, like, it almost looks like a ball and a bead cap on it, but that's just how it came. 
a little decorative uh, head pin. So I have one of those. I have some bead caps, two bigger ones, two smaller ones, and I have two little hematite stones. And that really, really pretty blue bead from the from the mix. So I'm gonna take my head pin. Very simple, simple, quick, easy to do uh, video. Easy pair of earrings to make. You're just going to go ahead and we're going to follow what I put on here. I put a bead cap, one of the hematite beads, put that on there. That's what you have so far. Then we're going to put a larger bead cap and put that blue bead from the mix. So this is what you have so far. You have your bead cap. Your hematite bead cap blue bead. We're going to put another large bead cap to frame that blue bead. And then we're going to put another hematite stone. And then we're going to put the bead cap finishing off the top of that. So this is what you have. Really quick, easy um, pair of earrings to make. And super, super pretty. Very fancy looking. Very, um, I love that blue. Oh my gosh. Blue is my favorite color, guys. Okay, so what you're going to do. Oh, and I'm sorry. I guess in the beginning I should have told you. You're going to need a round nose pair of pliers. And wire cutters. To snip if your head pen is too long. So what we're going to do is we're going to just bend this back. So you have it straight straight back actually you know what I'm bend it back a little bit more I probably should I, you know what I need I need my flat nose pliers hold up where's my flat nose pliers hmm. well I can't find them they're not right here so we're just gonna make sure that we bend that I think I have a smaller pair of brown nose yeah we're gonna be sure we turn that at a 90 degree angle you want it flat like that and then we're going to snip off a, a little bit and then we're going to take our round nose and turn it rotate turn it and make your loop straighten it out and that's what we have there's my loop so I am going to now open my loop, turn it carefully. Oh, it's close so good. I don't even know which side it is. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, it must be the other way. Oh my goodness. It really closed and that good. Okay, um, so you twist it towards you. You don't twist it, you don't pull it out because then you'll ruin the shape of it. Add your earring wire and close it and that's easy that easy just a simple pair of earrings Oop, let me get my there we go a simple pair of earrings i made that in less than what probably less than two minutes without all my fussing but look at those earrings how beautiful and those beads came from the mix here I want to say, I think I did pull the full little millimeter ones, the full little hematite looking ones from the from the black pack. I think I did. I'm pretty sure those came in there, so I may have a mix of the blue and the black. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> so those came out of that pack. But look how pretty those are. The blue and the hematite. Oh, I love those. Okay, so that's one pair. Super fun, super quick, super easy pair of earrings to make. We're going to put those right here. So you can see those. Now, these, um, again, these beads came from the blue pack. I'll leave that one right here. Actually, I'm going to put it here so I can follow it. So we have the, I have the same head pin with that little ball and it looks like a little spacer bead on the end. It's not, but if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to use a head pin that didn't have it, you can get one of those little tiny days of spacers and put it on the bottom and it gives it just a little extra added detail so I put let's see I started this off with a big bead cap like that I put on our oval bead 
or egg shaped kind of cylinder bead I guess put on the big bead cap I have two big ones and two smaller ones um, to frame the beads that one frames the larger bead at the bottom and then we're going to put a bead cap upside down so that we can frame this rondell bead and then put the other one on the top like so and this is what you have so far we're going to do the same thing we did to the other one make sure you hold all your beads tight down to the bottom take your pliers and bend that all the way flat snip off what you need to snip off. I, I keep about maybe maybe about a, a little less than an inch and then take your round nose pliers and begin to roll it back towards you readjust roll towards you and if you have to readjust again and roll towards you so now we're going to open that up Again, going um, towards you and not pulling apart. You want to open front to back so that you don't um, bend it all out of shape. Get your earring wire on that and close it back up. And guys, this is my first video of showing how to do earring, doing any kind of jewelry making on a video, and it's probably not the best. I'm gonna go back and just try to tweak things and figure out what works best but um if so if you have any comments of what might help y'all see better or if I'm, my hands i'm trying to keep my hands out of the way of doing stuff but i'm sure i'll get better as i make more videos <laughs> um it's a learning process but these are another pair of quick easy earrings we did basically a pair of earrings because we did the matching one in less than probably five minutes so anyway those are the two pair of earrings that i made out of these i think i said i think i used those hematite beads from the black set but everything else came from the blue and again those were the little jesse james bead packets i found at walmart for less than six dollars and you got all of those beads in those packets so i wanted to do that quick tutorial i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and help me to grow my channel um and i hope that you will click on the subscribe button to be notified of future unboxings hauls jewelry making videos to come Thank you for watching my video. Until next time, bye guys.